I don't have to sit here and wait for my scenes to render because I'm using Cinema 4D's built-in interactive render regions. If you want to learn how to optimize your Cinema 4D workflow, stay tuned. What's up survivalists, it's Che from Team WJ here to enhance your Minecraft animations to tell your stories. If you're new here, I make Minecraft animation tutorials every Monday, so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon to not miss any uploads. If you're not, welcome back. So, first tip, setting up an interactive preview window. Longtime viewers of my channel will know that I have a little preview window down here. What you might not know is that this bottom window is actually interactive, so whatever I do in my main camera, the bottom window will reflect. This way I can be able to see my renders in virtually real time. Let's get into how to set this up. So your starting layout should look something like this. First thing you want to do is go up to window up top here, go to new view panel. This creates a floating view panel that you can see. Select these dots over here and this will allow you to move into position. Drag it down on the screen until you see this white line, let go. If you want to set this as your primary window like I do, go to view and use as render view. This way you can set the display of this to grid shading and take advantage of all the OpenGL features while your working window can simply use constant shading. Now to get it to render interactively, you will need a lot of RAM. So if your scene is already running a bit slow, I'd recommend against using an IPR. If not, here's how you do it. First, make sure the bottom preview window is selected, then go to this button over here, click and hold, and select interactive render region. You can resize this box however you like, but anything inside the box will render almost instantly. To close the box, simply do the exact same thing. So, the number two tip, save the tools that you use often. Right here you're seeing a menu of the four tools that I use very often. The first one is the transfer tool. What this tool allows me to do is move one object to another with the press of a button. The second tool down the list is the reset axis button. So should you ever find your axis to be off center, you can use this button to simply put the axis back on center. The third tool here is very common around the C4D users, it's reset PSR. That stands for position, scale, rotation, and it basically sets all those values back to zero. The fourth tool here is Select by Normal Direction. This is from the Selection Tool plugin that you can download for free online, but basically what this does for me is if I have a bunch of polygons and I want to select in one direction, this tool can do it in one button. So here's how you customize your toolbar. Go up to Windows, Customize, Customize Palettes, as well as New Palette. Now search whatever tool you want and simply drag it into the palette. And do the same thing with the preview window, hit those little dots there and drag it into place. The third and biggest tip I have for you is to rebind your modeling modes to your keyboard. So my modeling modes are bound to ASDF, they're right next to each other on the keyboard and they're really easy to press. So to set your keyboard shortcut, simply go up here to Windows, Customization, Customize Commands. Then type in Model, and by default you should have no shortcut there. Type in A as the shortcut and hit Assign. Then type in Points, do the same thing and use S, Edges, and use D. Finally, polygons, use F. If you want to learn more about animation, I heavily suggest checking out my Beginners to Advanced playlist designed to help you improve your Minecraft animations right here. If you want to download this scene or get other cool rewards like exclusive renders or early access, make sure you check out my Patreon page. Patreon is a platform where you can send an amount to donate to me every month. All your donations will go into the development of Levels here and sustaining this channel. Don't forget that I also do private one-on-one -on -one calls with my supporters as well. Like the video and share it with your friends. Make sure you subscribe and thanks for watching. Cheers!